Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Civilization VI as we continue our daily run with Mongolia here, the Genghis Khan marathon run on a massive true start location Earth map. Been pretty cool. I mean, the one scary thing is that Aztecs are literally like got North and South America all to themselves. It's very possible that we're going to lose this because they're just unstoppable. And I wasn't planning on going to the Americas to kind of fight back. So, <laughs> I mean, obviously plans might have to change, but it was not originally the plan. Um, really, walls here are not really going to help you. You're just losing food. Really, you need a trader out, my friend. Yeah, we're just going to get you a trader because you're, you're close. To, you're not close, but you're you're at nine. So 10 would be next and that would give you enough for the uh, aerodrome or something or encampment, whatever we decide to do. Um, show. Yeah. I mean, it's called commercial or, or campus research grants for now. We'll figure out. Well, I'll have to remember to try and get you a trade out. I know we're building a trade route. Yeah, right there. So we'll have to send that to room key just because we've got to get you some growth. Is that the only place it's losing right now? Yeah, I think so. All right. So now we can finally start doing railroads on the roads. Uh, you actually did put your city up there. I mean, we're going to get us a new city. Yeah, yes. Thank you. Um, so you have to five housing now. You could go into the Renaissance walls. I mean, it's not like there's much else for us to do right now. So we might as well just keep getting our housing where we can. Uh, you're good on housing, so you don't really need walls, to be honest. Is this the only place we could build a mausoleum? Keep ignoring it because you just don't have any water tiles. But maybe I shouldn't be. Um, are we working any of these tiles that are... I don't think we are. They're these like mining tiles. I don't know that a builder is necessarily the right move. Honestly, we may just keep doing things like harbor shipping and things like that. Gold and stuff. I just realized we were losing... We're not have that much gold coming in. Uh, do I want to give away some coal? Yes, we still get on coal. Uh, niter. Yes. It's to her, but... If she's building NIDA units, then they're probably going to be lower than ours. Um, yep, grab all those. And then we will go to luxuries. Yep. Cool. That'll help a lot. Get us back up to almost 500 gold per turn. You ready to check this one? Yeah, line infantry. All right, that looks good. Um... Cool. Let's keep going. I mean, I could have built a national park, I suppose. Probably still could. Or maybe not. Never mind. It looks like we don't have the thing, which is fine by me. All right, you're actually going to come over here to Urmki because we need food. All right, in the meantime, what are you going to do? Um, I mean, just don't need walls desperately. I guess we're just going to be doing stuff down here just to get gold and other things. You are, you just finished gaining sources, so really you're just here to get XP. So I think we're just going to steal some money. 84% is not terrible. You are, I'll try, I was sending some trade routes to her, but I think we've got trade depots in a couple good places already. The fact that we're down to working on these types of things is a little bit strange. I mean, we could be building units. But I feel like the melee units we have are fine. If I built anything, it would be cavalry so we can upgrade them later. And maybe I still will. But I'd probably like my cavalry to come out of the places that have the, you know, the, uh, the Ordus. Which we have two of those at the moment. So yeah, we'll have to think about that. All right, you need to go with whatever's just good food. Which is not a lot, actually. So I guess we'll go with that one. Uh, you're just going to go ahead and connect this up. At least now the city's technically connected, although we'll probably still backtrack and do that and probably connect across there. Something of that nature. Wow, you actually covered yourself. Uh, pro probably just because this one doesn't have very much population. What? Which cities do we have that are low on housing? I just saw that message. I'm not seeing the icons sure I'm just blind but I'm not seeing them
All right, let's swing down here. Keep building railroads for now. All right, you finished your lighthouse. That will get us another trade route. You can also do an aerodrome, which is great. You can also do a campus, which is less apparently great. Um, industrial zone. Not amazing. Your housing's okay. I mean, an aqueduct could help us get a better industrial zone spot. Let's do another diplomatic quarter. Let's do a canal. Um, I'm probably just going to go into a shipyard or something boring. I mean, I could do an aerodrome. But honestly, the two aerodromes we have will be enough for us to build the units that we want. And we're just going to be moving them up to the front lines anyway. This is kind of obscure and out here in the middle of nowhere. So an aerodrome here is not quite as useful. Let's just go into shipyard for now. So much gold, but we're saving that for a very specific purpose. Um, factory or bank? Yeah, we'll do factory first. Really hope we have aluminum. If we don't have aluminum, we have to abandon the air uh, plant completely. I mean, we could buy aluminum from people, I suppose. It's not like it would be impossible. So you are actually getting some food now. Barely. Uh, if we want you to actually grow at any real rate, we'd have to give you some more food. Is anybody, like, really bad on production right now? Looks like this city is. Let me get you your production set up first. And we'll figure that out. I'll go ahead and get the university there. Get you down to there. So, trade route here. I mean, the best place would be probably this city from that perspective. Or Karakorum, so we can get some food, a little bit of food coming in there. Honestly, I think I'm going to send you to Ermke, and then we'll send you probably to a foreign city, because we're really not going to get that much food anyway, and then we can get us another trade depot. In one of Tomiris' places. All right, about to get aluminum. Come on. We've got to have at least two aluminums. Three aluminums, hopefully. If we can get by with two, three would be ideal. Radio is the theater of the mind. All right, come back to you. That one's been dispersed. One way over there. Still gives a line infantry. I don't see any pop-ups for resources, which is just great. Uh, this is the one from Kermke. Yes, so you can go with food, but we're going to go ahead and send you to one of her other cities. Just, just to have another trade depot somewhere. Where is Castro? Whatever. Where is that? Oh, right there. Uh, that might be all right. Oh, no, we have a trade depot there already. Never mind. What about Neapolis? We don't have one at Neapolis, but we'll probably be taking the city quickly, but I guess... You know what? We're going to go to Mogadishu. I know I said food, but I do like sitting, getting more free envoys. So <laughs> sometimes I change my mind. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just cut straight across to the west, I believe. So we'll just come down to here. Uh, let's see. Yes, let's go right into a hangar. And then we got to check for aluminum. We're going to search for aluminum. Yeah, we're not going to have aluminum, are we? We're not going to have aluminum, which is fine. Because don't get me wrong, I do still like ground game with, uh, with artillery and things like that. But it will be a bit painful. I mean, she has a city that has aluminum. Oh my goodness, we have... <gasps> we have some! We have one. Alright, do we have any more? No. Because I think that's the one we started with, isn't it? Yep. Because I remember Gondar. Uh, we have one aluminum. Yay us. I mean, obviously this is a desert tile because we're gonna buy it. we're gonna want to buy that with you. I mean, one aluminum is what we can get up to four per, per turn, so that's four air units. I mean, it's something. It's really not good. And we didn't see we would have seen some up here outside our borders if we had more, right? So 
That is just garbage. That is absolute garbage because these air units take aluminum, right? I'm not making that up. These do, in fact, take aluminum. The more advanced ones take also take aluminum. Yeah, we're 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 apparently not going to go with the air game. I mean, we can supplement a little bit of like fighters just to help kill units, but our main primary destructive force is going to be artillery because we do have. Um, We've only got nine, but nine oil is enough to get a good set of artillery. I mean, we are going to want to supplement that with some tanks, but I can't remember if we need more oil just floating off our border somewhere, but I don't think so. There's oil up there. Man, that's just, I mean, we could put a city here just to get some coal and oil, but yeah, this is, this is a little bit scary. Like, we have the wrong types of resources. All right, do we have a builder available somewhere? Probably had one just hiding somewhere. We have you. Come over and hook up the aluminum, I guess. Not great. I mean, we can get more oil and aluminum at the same time, right? With the... Uh, uh, with this thing, Majigger. Where is it? Do we have it yet? We might not have it yet, but we can we can get it. We got the coal and niter one. We don't have the oil one yet. But that would get us up to 12 oil per turn, per tick, which is good. That's good. That gives us a good chunk of artillery and some tanks. And then um, a few supplemental probably airplanes, like I said, just so we don't have to run uh, machine guns or anything like that. The airplanes can take care of, like, the covering fire and things of that nature. Yeah, that's going to have to be the way we go then. So in that case, we don't, for one, we don't, and we're still going to push towards a few things. But we don't really care about the advanced fighters that much. Interestingly enough, isn't this just oil? Yeah, biplane is just oil. I suppose we could do bombers with our four with our three three up to four aluminum, and then stick with some biplanes. But I don't know that that's really what we're looking for. They're going to get outdated relatively quickly. So no, I think we have to push up to tanks and artillery, and plan on a tank artillery push, and go down that route. So we're going to ignore this for now. It's just not, we just don't have enough to justify it. Well, no, I say that, you know what? We are still going to want some biplanes or some, some fighters. I, th I think is what I said. So we'll still go that route there. You know what? We're going to go ahead and just buy this hangar. I know I put like one turn into it, but I just want to get it up and running. Do we wait for the airport? No, because I want to get the biplanes out now. So we'll go ahead and get a couple biplanes. Does give us that. We'll get us another biplane. Cool. There's our advanced flight boost. We'll go ahead and push up. We'll upgrade to fighters because we'll have some aluminum now. And like I said, we can run four fighters, which is not bad. I mean, we could have run a bomber, I suppose. Three fighters and a bomber, but we probably want to focus on the fighters more than anything. As we get more aluminum down the road, we can switch to bombers, but initially I think that's the way we're going to go. And then you can go ahead and just go into what? I mean, we do need another trader somewhere. We just have you start slow rolling a biplane. Which I think we will do. And we can actually buy the airport as soon as you get out to get a little more combat experience as a result of that. Alright, that's fine. That all works. I can I can live with that those decisions. And like I said, we'll start focusing on artillery soon. So as soon as you get done, we're gonna probably start focusing on well, you have the Urdu, right? Uh this is yours. Yeah, Karakram. So you're gonna start focusing on the tanks. We'll do the artillery out of somewhere else. I mean, we don't technically have the artillery yet, but we can start building the uh, the lower level and get them upgraded here in a bit. I see that Tomaris is sending out another uh, settler. Uh, we'll just rebase you guys to the front. Just so you can kind of help a little bit here. I mean, the biggest reason to have normal fighters as opposed to biplanes is because of the uh, the range, really. I think the uh, attack power is fine for what we're going to use them for. Still find it fascinating that some of these guys still want some of these lower strategic resources. I think I'm still okay with giving away coal, honestly. It's going to give us gold and golds we're going to use for other things. Uh, like I said, we could purchase aluminum. 
Like, how much would people charge me for aluminum? We could purchase from her, get a big chunk of aluminum to support us, and then when we declare war, we cancel the deal. So, that's an option. We might circle back around to that. All right, there's our chance to get archaeologists. Okie dokie, what do we want to do now? Um, I think we're still okay with the housing for now. Shoot, I don't think we're going to swap anything in right now. I mean, I guess we could deploy you out to the edge here. Just so you can kind of fly out from that. I'm going to pull you up here. It'll be fine. And you are doing railroad stuff. Uh, where is the oil? Always forget where it's at. Conservation. Okay. Well, let's push up to... Any, many, many, mo. Um... I guess we're just going to go ahead and go straight for conservation. Starting getting that going in is going to be, I think, good for us. All right, we got four envoys now. I mean, Taruga would be nice, but we're nowhere near close to being able to flip that. Cardiff. I mean, a little bit of free power. There's nothing wrong with that. A little bit of free culture could be useful. We get Antonana Revo now. We have gotten a few, a couple great people, haven't we? Great people. Maybe not. Got one there, two, three, four, five. So that'll be ten percent extra culture, which is a thing. Could grab Mitla. Uh, actually, Mitla would be very important for us. In fact, I'm just gonna push you up to six. We get a little bit extra science. And I think that's going to be fine. We can go ahead and bump all Auckland up as well. We might as well get a little bit extra production. All right, I think I'm happy with those. All right, do we want to go ahead and just buy us a... Where's the thing? Did it pop up here? Exu... Yeah. Um, buy us an uh, arche uh, archaeologist. Because that'll help us get tanks quicker. Right. Good, good tile for Karakorum here. A little bit of uh, aluminum coming in. It's something. I mean, these fighters against like cavalry and things like that are not even remotely a problem. So we could definitely do that at some point. Hey, there we go. Finally got that. I'm right, just going to get some of the stuff nearby. There's our boost for combustion. That's really all we really wanted. Um, let's see. Production. Yeah, we'll do another trader out of here, and this time I will do a food. I know I kind of skipped it last time, but we'll still try to get some food for you, my friend. Although I don't really care about the uh, aerodromes anymore, do I? No, we're definitely not giving up our aluminum. I'm sure we're going to get a chain of those coming up here in a moment. Everybody's going to want our aluminum. All right, commercial investment's done. Okay, you're going to go ahead and start going into whatever is going to turn into artillery, which I guess is trebuchets. Uh, we'll start with the observation balloon, though. Why not? We're going to need one of those at some point. And then you are going to do a factory. So we're at what? Adjacency here? Three. Okay, still so just three. So I, maybe, it is, maybe it doesn't matter if it's improved or not. I mean, it's still a good tile, so I'm okay that we got that. Eric Cohen's about to start switching to whatever's going to turn into tanks. So I think it's Curasars right now. 
Yep. So we use up iron, which, yeah, we got plenty of iron, so this is fine. Uh, harbor shipping's done here. You can actually do another district. Um, do I want... What do I want? I don't think the aerodrome would matter, so... Could do another encampment. Honestly, we're going to have two people producing cavalry units, and that's actually okay. That's plenty. I really don't know, my friend. Maybe an entertainment complex just to kind of give us something here? Yeah, why not? All right, we probably ran out of some amenity tradings. Uh, yeah, we're still good on that. I mean, I think we're still good to give up Niter. I don't think we're using it for anything. Iron, we do need some stuff for, but nobody's getting enough to matter anyway. Horses, I'm still okay with giving you horses. And we're going to go for the luxuries. And of course, purchase some luxuries. Cool. Good stuff. Uh, no. Don't need your lighter that much. And I don't want to give you oil. I mean, you've got your own oil. Uh, it doesn't really matter where we sit you, I don't think. He's actually starting to lose loyalty again. We might get us a free city for no real reason. Don't know that I really care about that city. This one will be okay for oil, I guess. I would be surprised if she lets us keep that or keep that uh, pressure on her, I should say. Um, do we just buy the military academy? Just keep pushing. I think we do, and then we just start pushing some more for more re uh. Uh, what I'm trying to say. <laughs> cavalry units. Now, we could do a mix, right? We could do cavalry, which turn into helicopters, as well as tanks. They're both going to be relatively good for us in the long run. Um, no, helicopters take aluminum. Never mind. So we're going to keep doing kit tanks. All right, trade route here. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and send you over here again. Really want to get that city to grow a little bit more. You are doing a railroad, so at least this city's connected now. We can still come down here to Karakoram as well. You finished medieval walls. That does help your housing a bit. We could do more to help your housing. We can also still do an aqueduct, apparently, but... I think we're going to go into... I mean, the broadcast center's obviously got... A, you know, there is something that needs a broadcast center at some point. Let's just do that. I think it's communications. Something like that. All right, this time we really are going to do food. Um, might just do add with it. We get a little bit of gold back. Don't really desperately need gold that badly, though. We'll just keep it internal. All right, you're going to swing over here. Pushing the rear road down to Kirikorum that way, and that'll be basically all our cities connected in one form or fashion. Got lasers. Lasers is nice. Uh, I think they'll, it's good to get some of those. Um... That's pretty good. I like this one. We we'll probably will put that in Karakoto because it's just so centrally located. Speaking of Karakoto, you can go right into the artillery replacements. Uh, trader here can go into this room key. Um, I mean, I guess you can also do trebuchets. 
There's not really much else for you to do. Go that route. Observation balloon, just chill. You are swinging down here. More railroads. You are... Yeah, okay. I think Karakoto is the one that has the power plant. Yep. Technically, both of them have a power plant, don't they? We don't have a power plant down here yet, do we? No. I think this is fine. This is pretty centrally located. Um, Trader, which is where... From where? Oh, room key. So we'll do more food here as well. We'll get a room key to grow at some point. And then you are just going to keep stealing. Rocketry would be great, because rocket artillery are one of my favorites. All right, that's going to be it. We're going to go to put a cut in there. When we come back, we're starting to build up for a war against her. I think we get up to artillery, a few tanks, and uh, supporting air, uh, airplanes. And I think we'll be just fine with that. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.